Okay, this is a follow-up to my Ryzen build because it has not been as peachy of a build as I would have liked. So the issues began when I first tried to boot up the computer, wasn't posting, no issues, I had to reset the BIOS, uh, take out the battery, nothing would work though. Eventually it booted for some reason, after I reseed the CPU it booted and it wouldn't reboot then, wouldn't restart and what I found was I had to unplug the computer from the wall completely let it power down, let the power supply run out of power to discharge all the final things because sometimes they hold a little bit of power so you'll notice that like keyboard peripherals will sometimes stay lit up for a few seconds after your computer's um, shut down. So that was all fine, got to boot, got Windows installed, everything eventually kind of worked. But I was still having this problem. So I switched over to BIOS uh, F2 for this motherboard and it worked grand enough after that, okay? Had, that, had it like that for about a week. Then the F3 BIOS came along, I was like, okay, I'll upgrade the BIOS again because I was having some overclocking uh, stability issues. And I'll get to what those stability issues were uh, in a minute. Or actually, you no, know, they are, because they're still there. So the F3 BIOS came out and it wouldn't work at all. It was just not happening. Nothing was going to work. It was like, nah, I'm not booting for you ever again. So I had to go to, was, this was late at night at this stage. I was frustrated, so I went to bed, went to work. I had the computer unplugged, came back home to start um, pulling the components out bit by bit by bit and seeing if there was any particular, maybe it was a weird hard drive or maybe like the, the uh, capture card is behaving weirdly and it wasn't going to work and was causing it to not post properly. So went through it, came home and the motherboard debug LEDs were still on. So I couldn't believe it. 16 hours at least without power and the motherboard LEDs were still on. So I started doing a bit of tinkering and I decided to start pulling the computer apart anyway. I pulled out DisplayPort and the LEDs went off. So what I found out was that the computer must have been drawing power through the DisplayPort because when I disconnected it, the motherboard LEDs went out. And it turns out, through some magical issue, that on DisplayPort, I have a spare cable here, I had to buy an extra cable to prove my theory, and it was true, I read this online. DisplayPort pin 20 can is for power delivery over DisplayPort, it has, it's a 3.3 volt rail, I think. So what happened was, if your DisplayPort cable has pin 20 connected, which it's not supposed to have, you can draw power over DisplayPort. And turns out that's what was happening. So... You can see the LEDs are on here. These are the debug LEDs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the cable from the back of the computer. Okay. And as you can see, the LEDs are still on. Now, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to pull the camera back. So you can see I've grabbed the display port cable. I'm just going to, you have to get the little levers and pull it out. And wait till you see what happens. This display port cable is not working correctly. Okay, so what we've got here is my uh, cheapo multimeter. So we're gonna use the continuity tester. If you don't know what a continuity tester means, it just means um, it beeps when there's a connection. So I've got my two leads, if I touch the tips together, you can hear an audible beep. So let's take the good cable and let's just pick a random pin and connect it twice. I'm going to do pin one which is the top pin on each side on the opposite top corner to the angle. So we'll just put this in here. Now don't put too much pressure in here because you only want to barely touch it because you can break these cables. And there should be a continuity beep there. I don't know why it's not. Let's just try the one below that. I'm fairly sure I'm just not holding it right because this is actually quite difficult to hold. I'm not sure I'm touching the right pin. Anyway, let's go to pin 20. So let's pop it on pin 20 here. And pop it on pin 20 here. And we're getting a continuity beep. Now let's do it on the good cable. No continuity beep. Let's do it on the next pin over. Continuity. So, this cable is wired correctly. This stupid cheapo Chinese cable from Korea, or Korean cable, wherever it came from, whatever factory crapped this out one day, 
is not very good. I wouldn't recommend using that. So this is going to be marked as not to be used and thrown away or something. But yeah, can't believe it. Display port cable powering my motherboard through the graphics card causing boot problems. It's completely crazy. So that's it for this video. And hopefully when my new motherboard arrives, we'll actually be able to do some overclocking. So, see you next time.